Welcome back. Well, it is no secret that we are sometimes inundated with just negative news, both on the national and the local level. Sometimes all that bad news, it impacts you or your coworkers, and it can have an impact on employee productivity. So how do we cope? Workplace culture consultant and leadership expert Beth Ridley is back, and she's got some help on this topic. Good to see you, Beth. Good morning. Good morning. I love this topic because I think it's so valid. We are just, we get so much news these days. It pops up on the top of our phone. Yeah. We watch it on TV. We see it on social media. It's, yeah. It's nonstop. <laughs> yeah, constant. It didn't always used to be that way. Yeah, so I know. So you're seeing that there's a, a real negative impact in the workplace for yeah, employees. There really is. I mean, it's good to be abreast of, you know, current events. We want to so be. We don't want to ignore the news, but you're right. It seems like this constant barrage of negative news and the research does show that too much negative news it adds to our stress and anxiety and of course we bring that to work and we get more distracted we're just not as engaged or productive and then that leads to bad decision making and bad outcomes yeah and probably some frustration with your co-workers you take it out on people yeah that's what we do so give us some examples of how this negativity can really impact people at work so a couple of real-life examples that I hear from my clients so of course the war in Ukraine, right? Mm -hmm. It's consistent and it's been persisting for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. And so employees who are from Ukraine or have family or friends there or feel some type of personal connection, it's hard to just turn the news off and then just walk away. It mm -hmm. lingers with you. Um, we also hear from African-American employees that constant news of violence against black people that you might see videos on social media. You can't just turn it off and walk away. It sort of stays with you. And of course, we're human. So we do bring that to work. Mm -hmm. It's pervasive. It's pervasive, really. And yeah. then you do. I think once you see so much stuff, you walk around thinking it's 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 it, everybody feels that way towards you or towards that or yeah. there's just this air of negativity everywhere yeah so as that happens what can leaders do so say say you're you're sensing and you maybe can't put your finger on what it is right but you sense that there's this air of negativity or something in the workplace what can leaders do yeah. to help it yeah well i think the main thing is is to just sort of be aware and sensitive i mean you can't change the bad news mm -hmm. but you can at least be a little empathetic and realize that workers are human and you know there's always something sort of underlying our mood and our disposition so I think the most important thing that a leader can do to kind of set a more positive tone at work is to acknowledge mm -hmm. right to simply acknowledge and especially if there's like a bad news story that everyone can relate to and it yeah. is negative feeling negative about let's just say unfortunately like a school shooting or yeah, something shooting. like that yeah that you know stays with all of us mm -hmm. so I think to not say anything, you do come across a little tone deaf. Correct. Right? So I like to say just sort of acknowledge, right? I know that there's some bad headlines out there lately and it's very normal that it may be impacting you negatively. Even at the, st the start of a meeting, maybe just pause and give, mm. I like to say, a mental health moment. Yeah. And just say, take 30 seconds, everyone, to collect yourself, maybe become a little bit more present, and then let's move forward. I always wonder if leaders don't do that because then they feel like they're supposed to like give something. Yeah. So I like that idea of taking a, just a moment collectively because yeah. you feel also that that team feeling we're in this together yeah. we, we, we're here together let's make powerful choices together yeah what do leaders not do what's something they absolutely should stay away from you know you don't want to like push someone's boundary push them beyond their comfort zone acknowledging mm -hmm. that the news may be negatively impacting people is one thing you know uh, like prodding people to talk about it yes. if they don't want to is quite another simply acknowledge and move on. Everybody needs something different to, you know, boost their mental health and that sense of well-being and simply acknowledge, you know, I'm here to support you, whatever you need. Maybe that's a mental health day. Maybe yeah. that's just a, hey, you know, maybe pass on me, don't call on me in the meeting today. You know, maybe that's, re you know, referring them to your employee resources that, that you have at work. So mm -hmm. I think it's just acknowledge, listen, and let people know that you're there to support. It's so interesting because even within the news, our news organization acknowledges how difficult it is for reporters and stuff. I mean, every organization is oh, a business, yeah. right? Yeah. And even if you're reporting the news, you're still impacted by the news. Mm -hmm. So it's so interesting that you say all that. And I do, I think just that acknowledgement or saying, hey, maybe maybe we'll bring in a mental health person for the day. If you, if you want to talk to them, you can. We've Absolutely. done that here. And yeah. I just think that acknowledgement, like you said, it's yeah. not a push, 
but it's a recognition yeah. it matters to people. And the things that are under our control, maybe promote more of that positive news. So yes. <laughs> we yeah. can't control world events, but we can certainly acknowledge employees who do a good job, yeah. the positive impact that or our work is having, <laughs> bring in food. <laughs> food, sort of, <laughs> solves a lot of it does. problems. Of course, in moderation, Call and have healthy choices too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for joining us. That is so Thanks, true. Tiffany. To share this segment with a friend or to learn more about Beth, you can visit our website, themorningblend.com.